Good evening ladies and gentlemen, I hope we are all doing very well. Welcome back to the channel as always. I do hope everybody is having a fantastic time of the day, whatever time you are watching this at. Now, it's been a while again. It's been a week. I say I say a while, it's been a week. Um, but I'm most definitely used to these frequent uploads a little bit more than what have been recently. There's just been literally so much happening. We've been all over the place. Um, some stuff within our control, some stuff out with our control. I mean, for example, right now it is 10 to 1 in the morning and I'm about to get to bed, um, finally, after everything's been done. Um, but there's been a lot happening and again, like I say, we've been traveling all over the place. It's not going to stop anytime soon, but this is definitely something that I am going to, I'm going to document because at the end of the day, this is our life. This is our lifestyle. This is what happens. Like this is, it, it's very easy to try and kind of just make light of absolutely everything that's going on. But at the same time, we're not going to be in one place for all of the time. There's going to be so much more stuff happening. There's so much cool stuff coming up as well that I'm just going to be able to document as well as that. Um, we've came back, I've had two sessions, so we were in Scotland for a while and then we've came back um, to Durham. I've then trained out of Ultraflex for two sessions. I've got one more session in Ultraflex which is going to be legs tomorrow. I had um, back day to day and deadlifts with my client from London, Kazim, who is on prep, who I will say is looking absolutely incredible. It was really cool to be able to see him in person. This is most definitely something that I think a lot of coaches will take from um, this and, and really um, understand and appreciate what I'm coming from. But seeing somebody in person is just totally different to seeing them through a, a, a picture because through a picture they can look really good but in person they can look totally different. Now from what I've been seeing from Kazim's pictures, he has been very much coming in and the condition is, is shining through, everything's working the way that we wanted to. But today I seen him in person and I was like, he, he's just way more conditioned than what we've seen him in the picture. So we were able to feed him back up, which is a really good sign. Um, so it's a, a very productive and successful prep this far. Again, guys, if you are looking for lifestyle coaching or even competition prep coaching, I will always put the link to my coaching in the description box below. You can fill out my questionnaire form, you can fill out my application form, and which will allow me to be able to collect a little bit of data about you. In order to be able to obviously get what I need, I will then contact you. I will then give you all the information that you will need with regards to my coaching. And then we can, of course, book a call. We can take things from there. But back to where I was starting, not that I want to ramble on for too much longer, guys. But there's just so much more happening. Like I say, three sessions back to Ultra after tomorrow for legs. And then we're actually going to be heading to Manchester. I'm going to be training out of EP Jungle for quite a while. Like I say, it's 1 a.m. I am finishing up the day with some AGF. I have just got a restock of the Sticky Toffee Pudding. And and more formidable as well which is really good because I do need that for the back end of my prep because I am going back on cycle off the formidable which is something that I could not recommend enough but I've got my AGF here a scoop and a half is going in I'm another weekend prep we're around 16 17 weeks out I think right now something like that but right now to be fair it's 1am my head's not working as much so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this shake in I'm going to head to bed get some good sleep around 10 hours and then I'll just catch up with you guys in the morning So you're not going to tell everybody how to make the pancakes? Because that's what everybody wants to know. That's not what I say. Like, everybody wants to know how to make the pancakes. They're so simple. Well. <laughs> Just put them all the ingredients in the blender. Blend what are up. the ingredients? Oats, water and AGF. Third time lucky. So wait, please explain why you can't use any other protein apart from AGF. Well, you probably can use other protein, but I can't speak for how nice your pancakes are going to turn out if you don't use AGF. That's very true, and I'll back that point up because with the... What AGF is it? Marsh... Coconut marshmallow. Coconut marshmallow. They're absolutely unbelievable. Yeah. So thank you so much. Wow. Wow. <laughs> A little monster, thank you so much. Ooh, red. red. I mean, have you seen that? Red. Get your wee banana in, do you? That sounded like you, didn't it? No, it doesn't sound like me. Right, so now you can please tell the viewers why the living room looks like a, a laundrette. Oh, there's a new little bag, <laughs> new little work bag. 
<laughs> and get the kind, the big kind cushioning. Oh yeah, we went and bought so many cushions yesterday because it was very necessary to do so. But it was only five pounds sixty. Look, five pounds sixty. I think it was five pounds sixty. Was it? Five pounds sixty indeed. So why did we need three? Well, I just thought if you were going to buy the be kind, you may as well get one for either side. Yeah. Like we like blue one. And the washing. The washing. We spent two weeks in Scotland. And we've had two nights in our own house and I were going to Manchester for three weeks. So I did four loads of washing yesterday and obviously I didn't get it all dry, so that's why the living room looks like this. <laughs> Nine. Currently just prepping two days of white potato here so although we are heading away and we are staying in an apartment which is something that I couldn't recommend enough if you guys are travelling get an apart hotel or an apartment or an Airbnb where you're going to have access to a kitchen because it's going to make things a lot stress free for you but what I actually like to do is I like to just prep as much as possible in advance so even over the course of maybe two to three days in advance anyway um, because that just takes the stress off the first two or three days which then that gives you the opportunity to be able to actually see around the place find your bearings find shops find supermarkets um, and it makes things a lot stress free in the process which to be fair I always go for so we've got a good couple of days of white potato in here just for my post workout I've also got well this sweet potato in there for today I've got more sweet potato to make but like I say it's just about preparing in advance like literally plan ahead because if you plan ahead no matter what sort of phase you're in whether that be a push-up phase or a fat loss phase a prep whatever you're in if you plan ahead and you're more organized the more you're in control of the more you manage the more stress-free it's going to be and, and ultimately that is going to be the best thing for you in the long run as easy as that guys two days white potato post-workout prep so as you guys know immediately post-workout I'll have my rapid recovery shake and then I'll wait around 40 minutes I'll have my white potato meal which goes with chicken, some greens and then in the process of that because we just put it into the air fryer it's as easy as that, wait around maybe 15 to 20 minutes and that's prep. Now in the process of that I have got my intra workout, pre workout supplementation sorted so intra workout first of all what we've got is level up b2 which is my performance based supplement so this is the killer of the doms, this is a very 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 good recovery based product. That goes along with no code V2, which is my essential amino acid. I then have carb up, which as you guys know, is my intra carbohydrate. So all of these three go together. Pre-workout, what I do is I take six Rhydon, which is my pump formula, which is an incredible pump formula supplement. I will say this is by far the best I have ever used. And pre-workout of choice today, guys, we're going in with Defib V3 in the flavor. Fizzy Bubblegum Balls, which is most definitely up there with one of my favourite flavours along with the Iced Blue Slush. Now anything from HR Labs guys, you know Kevy15 is the discount code. If you use that it does support me a lot so it's very much appreciated but that is going to be down for today's leg session. That is ready, it's almost go time. Right guys, last and final warm up here by my doctor. It's been a couple of weeks using the old doctor in the leisure centre so it's felt a good bit different. It's feel nice so far. So I'm two pins off the stack right now. This is a really nice adductor machine. I, I just think I'm jumping on it. I think I, I would like my legs to be a little bit more extended out the way. So I'm not using too much of my knee to bring the weight around. Um, it's, it's one of them where the majority of your adductor machines are, are very much, you're in a position where your knee is almost fully bent, which I, I would always recommend if you can on an adductor machine, try and straighten your legs out that bit more so you can utilize your adductor muscle to actually move the weight rather than your knee. But besides that, I mean, we're still gonna take some good working sets regardless. So I'll do my last warm up here. Hopefully if I can take the stack for a good few reps and I mean stay on the muscle good few reps, then I'll be happy with that. But we'll touch this um, and, and then we'll really see how this feels. If this feels very fucking hard, then I'll just stick here. But it's the the, part of just being able to come in after not being in here for a couple of weeks on these specific pieces find where I am at again for these sort of movements and then more so reset and then get flying from here but we'll try and make this one light and then we'll take it from there <laughs> okay we're gonna go the stack Yep! Come on then. Hey! 
Ay. Two sets of doctors. Now we can move on to some good old hamstring curls. We'll hit some leg extensions from that. Really warm the, the knee up 100%. And then we can move on to some big squats and big presses. I've been finding I've been getting so much more out of doing leg extensions, ham curls, adductors, before any pressing or, or squat movement. Old me would have never done this. Old me would have came in and, and loaded 60 kilogram on a barbell before I even done anything at all. Like that would literally be my first initial warm up that was not even anything to do with stretching, not anything to do with warming on, walking on a treadmill, sitting on a bike, like literally. So I'm um, finding now anyway, 10 years in, I'm getting a little bit more from doing this. This doesn't mean that obviously you have to do a lot of this if you're just beginning, um, obviously you can get away with a lot more. I'm not saying you just come in and load the 60 kilogram barbell up. I'm definitely not saying do that. Um, but you, you will be able to get away with a lot less warming up at the very beginning, just because naturally you're not gonna be doing anything really crazy. Um, just be careful. That's the only thing I will say, just be careful. But with this here, I'll go into a work here. We'll hit two here. It's feeling good. Um, flex, leg curl. So usually I would go between a seated or a lion. I will do the opposite later on in the session just to accumulate up a little bit more hamstring volume, but that's feeling good so far. So we'll get locked in here, get nice and tight, and we'll, we'll fucking send it. Oh man, I forgot how much that fucking hurts. Ah. Every time I fall onto this, like I just want to do the worm. <laughs> I can't let myself do it. Fuck, I really want to do it now. No, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> okay, come on then. very hard to get it short whenever you start fatiguing which logic and common sense and the team of optimal would tell me to jump onto something like a prime piece just because you can obviously change the pins and have it dropping off at the the back end whenever you're trying to get it short especially whenever you are fatiguing which to be fair does make a lot of sense but today this just feels really nice I get on well with it so I'm happy with that set and off the back of that, may I just add, yesterday was deadlift day. We've had to move a couple of sessions about. So yesterday I hit deadlifts and back. So coming off the back of that, moving on to this. Um, ah, nice, yeah, just walk right in front of the camera. That is amazing. See, <laughs> this is the problem with me micing up because you're literally just gonna get fucking anything. <laughs> Whatever comes to my head, I'm gonna say and I'm just gonna have to try and keep it in. I'm not gonna edit this shit out, guys. This is going to be funny. This is going to be a run. Well, it's either going to be a good thing or a bad thing that I've now got mics. Um, because I probably just won't shut the fuck up. <laughs> okay, leg extensions is a goal. Man, I am fucking roasting. Oh, it's so warm in here. I say that as I've got a big jacket on. To be fair, this is one of my most favorite jackets I own. Um, Sarah's dad actually gifted me this. It's from a good few years ago. They don't make it anymore. And it is definitely one of my most favorite jackets. So that's 
why I just bear with the fact that I'm probably roasting because I've got it on. But it's um, one of them pieces that I know nobody else has got it. I don't know if anybody's noticed, but I've got a hat on for the first time in what feels like forever. I got a big gas border and there was a hat in it, so I'm definitely going to go back to wearing a hat. Oh my, I'm so fucking sweaty. That is disgusting. Let me know in the comments section below, hat on or hat off? I would say hat on. Sarah would say hat off. Everybody else is probably going to say, I don't know, hat on or hat off. Biggest key tip when it comes to your leg extensions. You want to make sure that you are getting the absolute most out of a leg extension. You are not going to get your quad as short as what you do on here on any other piece. So that means if you've got two sets, three sets, four sets, you make every single set the, the, the most. You make every single set the most productive you can. Now by doing that, you want to always look for a straight line from all the way back at your hips, all the way through to your heel. So you want to make sure that that is full extension and you're getting the quad fully short because unless you're getting the quad fully short, you're just dropping down what you're taking from the actual movement itself. And like I say, because you're not getting the quad as short on any other piece of equipment, you want to make sure that every single rep you are getting the most out of it. So just always make sure if you need to drop the load, because I know that a lot of people out there love to come onto a leg extension and just stack, stack the most out of it. You might need to drop it because Coming to here is not enough. Even coming to here is not enough. You want to be making sure that you're getting that quad into that really shortened position and getting the most out of it. So last and final warm-up, four and a half plates. Ideally, I would like to touch six plates today. I know the last time I done this, which to be fair was around four weeks ago now, I done five and a half plates. From what I can remember, it did move really well, which is why I want to touch six plates, but it will be dependent on how this feels. So I'll go in with the attitude that it's gonna be fucking light because if I don't, then it's gonna crumble me. And if this moves well, we'll go six. We'll put the sleeves on and we'll send six. Oh, fucking hell, six is on. Man, that shit's scary. Six is on. You know, sometimes in my head, I kind of think, you know, I wish that went a little slower so I could like choose an easier weight, but it moved really well, so we're gonna have to go six. It's just one of them things that's like, when I'm touching a weight that I've not touched in so long, it can be pretty nerve wracking. But, you know, we've got to keep the head on, especially this deep into prep now. This amount of weight dropped. This is like peak off season sort of territory that I'm still working at, which, because I'm a lot lighter, it can be a bit scarier. It can be a bit more nerve wracking, just like deadlift. Like if I'm touching anywhere near 300, which I did yesterday, this deep into prep, this amount of body weight down, how they feel, it's not even that the strength's not there, because I know the strength's obviously there, it's just how fucking sore they become. But you know what, what built the muscle is going to keep the muscle and that's something that we always have to fucking remember guys. If you are in a prep and you're using that as a, a cop out to take out the big demand of movements, to take out the movements that you used all fucking off season to build that muscle, if you just take them all out and you just put in stuff that's going to be simple as fucking really easy, you're, you, you're at a one, -way, a one way track to just losing all that tissue and trust me when I say this, when you turn up on a fucking bodybuilding stage, you're going to be able to tell who kept them big boy moves in 
and who fucking took them out. Okay. I took the mic out for that one just because I'm using the iPhone today at Villamon um, and I've not got the camera so I'm trying to do a bit of both, film for YouTube, film for Insta. So you might have seen that set, that was filmed for Insta, hence why it's probably really fucking zoomed in. There's no mic on so you can't hear me fucking breathing like an absolute maniac. But that was by far the best I've ever, 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 ever in my whole entire fucking life. Controlled six plates on the pendulum, which is a massive win. Like, this is what I say guys, this deep into prep, it's, it's up to you on how you perform. You're in control of how you perform. And I've said this before and I'll say it millions of times again. It's a fucking mind game more than anything else. It's, it's nothing else but a mind game. If your mindset is weak, your sets will be weak. It's as, it's as simple as that. And it goes for any movement, it goes for any session. It goes for whatever you do, like outside of here as well guys. You need a fucking strong mind. Nobody's got a strong mind anymore and you can fucking tell. But that felt amazing. I'm gonna drop back to four now, do the exact same again, control the absolute fuck out of it because that just felt too good. Knees feeling good as well, which is amazing. Like I say, the head was in the right place. I sent it and one of my all time best sets ever that took. And that's fucking 10, deep, 10 weeks deep into prep. So take from that what you want guys. But. That's a fucking big set. Still getting fucking warm.
Bear with. All right, bear with. Bear with. Why the fuck? No, you... bear with. Bear with. Bear with. Why do you keep? Bear with. Saying... Why do you keep saying bear that? With. Why do you keep saying that? <laughs> bear with. Bear with. <laughs> Why? Do you... Bear with. Why do you keep saying bear with? Bear with. <laughs> okay. Are right, you ready? What the fuck? Okay, hey. ready. <laughs> Why do you keep saying bear with? Right. Legs done for another day. We had a good session today. Really productive once again. First one back in Ultra for a couple of weeks. Obviously, I've been training legs out of the leisure center as well, so it was nice to get on some familiar bits again. Um, and just really kind of not expect too much, but see how things were feeling. Overall session went fantastically well. Like I had a couple of sets I was genuinely surprised with, which is a good thing. Post-workout meal on the go right now, white potato, have my rapid recovery. We're on our way to Manchester now, so next, like, there's, there's no stopping whatsoever. In home, shower, grab my food, grab everything that we need, pack the car up and then go. So Manchester's next. I'm gonna be training out of EP Jungle, which is super exciting. So you guys will probably get a few sessions from in there. But besides that, it's gonna be quite an eventful one. Like I say, this is a kind of weekend in the life reality style. Anything that's happened, we've just made sure and included in this, and hopefully you can take that from my session as well. Um, with being mic'd up, got around maybe an hour left of this journey, so it's, it's not too bad. Um, and then we will be heading on from there at the back end of the week to Rotherham, as I have a session there which is going to be filmed for the MBW site. That's going to be deadlifts and back. We'll then be heading on to Birmingham from there because there is um, a PCA show in which I've got clients in, and then from there. Who knows? But aside of that, we'll keep you updated as always. White potato is going to go in the now, so we'll probably just catch up with you when we get there. Bear with. <laughs> so can we please explain why we've got this much stuff for exactly how long that we're going to be here for? Because I will say we are not going to be here for... I mean, you've packed like we've moved out. Yeah, but to be fair, I don't know what the vibe's gonna be in the office, so I don't know if it was casual, semi-casual, really. So that's weird. why you've had to pack like we're literally <laughs> moving away. And, and can we yeah. please just be reminded that's that is literally just your case. That is my case, yeah. But I didn't know what to bring. <laughs> I'll know after tomorrow. It will be better after this week. Next week will be better. I mean, uh... <laughs> oh well, we've arrived. You're here. And of course, a little room tour before we wrap this video up. So as you guys can see, it's pretty messy already because yeah, it's the next day and we've been in here. Totally forgot to film a room tour the second that we came in, just purely down to the fact that there was loads to do. Uh, but we've got the kitchen right here as we come in. Actually a very big spacious kitchen, which I am really happy with because you guys know space in a kitchen, especially when having to prep a lot of food, especially when having to cook a lot, it's it, it just makes life so much easier so we've got an oven in there we've also got a microwave in there like there's literally everything in here like we've got a dishwasher in here there is the fridge in here there is what else is there okay we've got a freezer in here there's also like a washer dryer around there as well um there's everything this is one of the pros about also getting an apartment guys you literally get absolutely everything from a view perspective, maybe not the best. We're just kind of looking over other apartments. But this is the living area here. We also have a nice big TV on the wall, which of course is always a bonus for the old YouTube and the pancakes first thing in the morning. So nice little living area in there. And again, like I, I am on quite a wide lens, but at the same time, this genuinely is a very, very, very spacious apartment. Table here, as you can see, all of Sarah's clothes, all of Sarah's clothes, Sarah's. All of Sarah's shoes, another bag full of Sarah's shoes. Yes, Sarah has kind of just came here as if she's moving. Maybe she is moving here and she's not told me. That would be pretty awkward. But regardless of that, that is the kitchen table there. Very nice because of course we don't have a kitchen table at home. We come around here into, what's this cupboard? I'm not even sure what this one is. Okay, I think that's a little bin in there. Appliance guide, don't really need that. In here, wait, I never showed you the bathroom. Did I show you the bathroom? I don't think I did. Okay, in here. So again, another fucking fantastically big. Two mirrors though, maybe not as ideal as what I would like. This is probably the better lighting for posing right here because 
I do have to do a round of posing absolutely every single day purely just because that is in my routine. That has been in my routine since I stepped off of stage in 2022. In fact, that has been my routine since, I'm going to say, that has been my routine for like maybe four or five years now. Like one round of posing, pre-bed, every single night without fail. That has been my routine. So we've got bath, shower. We also have one of them things. I'm not sure what they're called right there. I think it's like a rain shower or something like that. There's like three different settings, which of course we don't really need to worry about as long as we do wash. Everything in here that you would totally expect to be in a bathroom. And then we have the bedroom. Again, nice and spacious guys. Big fat double bed. It's actually not that big to be fair. I mean, it is big, but our bed is bigger at home so because you're kind of used to that bit extra space and it was really fucking warm last night which i didn't really sleep the best but then we found the air cone this morning how to work it i fiddled about with it so um it's working now but we've got the bedroom nice little working area over there for me as well which is perfect i always like something like that if if we come anywhere and they've got something like that it's always a big massive win so we've got that over there an ironing board because sarah was pretending that she was ironing last night but yeah we'll just hope she doesn't watch this video because she'll probably smack me along the head for hearing that but aside from that guys that is going to be the room tour so we've arrived this is going to be the next initial good few days few weeks you guys will get kept updated regardless of that but i need to go to the shop first thing there's a few things i need to pick up i need to get more oats um i also need to go back to the car and get some more protein there's a couple of bags still left in the car yes because all of that stuff you seen last night actually wasn't at all but apart from that work and then i'll be training today i'm going to be training out of ep jungle i do have shoulder focused push which of course is going to be super exciting but as always guys we'll bring you along um if you do have anything else you would like to know about any questions you might have for me anything you would like to see on the channel don't hesitate to drop a comment down below as always um subscribe like do all of the above just to try and help as much as possible it does support me a lot which is very much appreciated but i hope the rest of your day is a good one and i'll just catch up with you all in the next video